Hello everyone. So today I'm going to share with you a very unique and new information about Salesforce that how you can invoke your Salesforce flow from external system like Postman. As you can see, this is the official document of Salesforce, which helps you guide how you can configure your Postman or any external system to invoke your flow. As you can see here, you have to make a post action and, conf and hit this endpoint URL in order to invoke your flow. And this is how you can pass your input parameter from the body of your API call. So before configuring this postman to call the flow, we have to first create a Salesforce flow. So let's go to my Salesforce org and quickly create a simple flow, which we will use to invoke from the postman. So first of all, you have to create an auto launched type of flow, this no trigger one. Okay. This should be an auto launch flow. And here we will take a very simple scenario like based on the search key, we will search the fetch the accounts and expose those accounts to the external system. So first of all, we have to create a resource or a variable that will store the input parameter like search key. So we'll name the input parameter as search key. Based on this, we'll make, an, make the search for the records. It should be a text type of field and make sure you check this box called available for input. So this search key will act as an input parameter that will be passed from the external system that is postman. So this input parameter is now configured. Now we will make use of get record element to fetch the accounts based on the search key. So we'll just name this as fetch accounts. And here select the object as account. Under filter conditions, it should be like name contains the search key. Okay, if the name matches with the search key, we'll just fetch that account. Few other things to be configured like we have to fetch all records that matches the condition and we'll not retrieve all the fields of the account, rather few of the fields like name, then type of that account, like account type, whether it's a partner or prospect, anything. And let's query one more field like phone as well. Okay. And then what we have to do after we have fetched the account records matching with that search key, we have to first let's save this flow. Let's name this flow as search account flow. This will be the name of our flow. Okay, it's saved now. There's one last step that we have to configure. We have to create a variable that will store those these list of accounts and expose that expose those lists to the external system from where the API call came. So let's create one list kind of variable which will store the list of accounts. So let's name it as account list. It should be of type record of list of object account. It should be a list of account records. And here you have to check this box called available for output. So this variable will be exposed to the postman to display those list of accounts that have been fetched. We have just now created a variable. Now we have, we have to assign that those list of accounts to this variable. Let's name it as assign account list. Assign to account list. Here we will make use of that new variable that we have created and simply equals whatever have been fetched from the get record element. This is the get record element that we created previously. So whatever is there will be stored in this list, which is marked as available for output. Now let's save this. Flow configuration is done. We will simply activate the flow. Before calling this flow from the external system, let's first check, I mean debug, whether it is providing us proper output or not. So we'll search with, let's use the case Adams. Okay, so there are three account that exists with the name as Adams. And I see it has successfully found records and it has also assigned these three records to the list. Okay, it's working fine. Now we'll go, go to Postman. So here, as you can see, I have done the pre pre prerequisites of the, I mean, the activities that need to be done. We just have to replace few information with the proper information. Most importantly, if you want to know how to configure the authorization process. That is how you can authenticate your postman with Salesforce in order to start making the API calls. You have to watch my previous video that I've already created 
in and i have shared in depth information on how to authorize your postman with your salesforce org here i have already authorized myself and uh, i will just be using this endpoints to call the api i will provide the link of that uh, video in the description for sure that you can go through in order to do the this configuration basically the access token and everything whatever so in order to be able to make api calls so here we have to uh, make few changes like this is the this is my domain url it will remain as it is there are few tags like actions custom flow as you can see i've already shown you on the document here it should be like actions custom flow and the api name of your flow so let's go to our flow once again let's copy the api name of this flow go to postman and here it is in, in the under the inputs we have to name the input variable that we have created inside salesforce flow and we'll provide adams as the value for now okay let's save this this is the url this is the input parameter and i'm now hitting my salesforce to call that salesforce flow let's see the output okay here it is action name was search accounts flow this is the name of my flow and it has retrieved see this was the name of our output variable account list and it has returned me three accounts okay here it is as you can see the name was adams 25 inc other is adam 335 inc and adams 991 inc we can just quickly go and verify okay these are the three accounts that have been returned to postman as you can see not only this information like id name type and phone these were the fields that we have queried in our flow on top of that it has also provided us the url to that record that you can simply click and navigate so isn't it very interesting that you can directly call your salesforce flow from external system that is now it is possible to expose your flows to be called from external systems and it is returning us the data in a proper way and for the configuration of postman to integrate with your salesforce system you have to watch my uh, another video for that uh, understanding okay thanks for watching thank you